Hello, I'm Lassa Logan. I'm back with another collaboration with Andrea Maida Pilates, and today we're talking about the struggle is real, centering on your pedipole. So centering on your pedipole, I also call it squats. Some people call it footwork. You can call it whatever you want. It is a struggle because this is the most like, this is the hardest piece of equipment I think there is. It's the most unstable. It has the least amount of support. It requires everything that you have to make it work. And it is not going to let you cheat, not even for an instant. So all the other pieces of equipment, when you cheat, um, you can probably get away with it, but not on here. Either you're going to fall, the springs are going to slam, you're going to lose your balance, right? So what you want to do is stand with your back up against the pole, take your arms wide to the side and like play around for a second. My go-to is to pop my ribs forward and wrap my shoulder blades around this pole, but that, that wouldn't be right. <laughs> That's not going to help the struggle be less real. Instead, I'm going to, you can put your heels up against the pole. I keep mine a little bit away and I kind of just go up and down for a moment and push the floor away until I can find this, the earth beneath my feet. And then I can breathe into my center and soften everything. And I can find my head against the pole, my upper back against the pole. And then I'm pulling my center in. So the rest of my spine can line up the way it needs to, right? So some people can touch, some people can, but doesn't mean that you're not doing it. Now these arms, it's easy to let your arms disconnect from your back, but then as you go, you're going to look like a scarecrow. So you want to reach into the springs to make your arms connect to your back. And then you're going to lower yourself down. Like you're bending in, like you're pulling the carriage in on the reformer, pull the arms down into you without disconnecting from your back or your center, come up and then open the arms without letting it open you. Do you see how that bounced? So I'm going to reach into the handles. I'm going to go down. I'm going to pull into me and then I'm going to slide up and reach out into the springs. And then you can also reverse You go down, you lower, you stay in the springs, you open them and you lift. It's a little harder on the reverse because going down, if you're not connected to your back, your shoulders are going to come up in your ears. And then as you open, they'll just swing open and you won't get to float with the springs, right? So if this is not going well for you, <laughs> you want some more support. I would start with the Cadillac arm spring series with your legs straight. If you've been doing it with your knees bent, do with your legs straight. Try to make your legs as active as possible. I would also be practicing your T-pull on the reformer. Yes, it's on your stomach, but that's the same connection to your back that you want to have. When you get to your footwork on the reformer, pull the carriage in. It's going to be the same knee bend that you do here to pull the carriage in, right? Hence why some people call it footwork on here. Then to continue connecting your arms to your back, I would do your arm series on the spine corrector. I would do your arm springs on the Cadillac. Having standing arm springs on the outside of the Cadillac is actually going to get you used to standing your feet, but working with springs, right? And then you can come here and practice this again. It isn't easy. It's not supposed to be. It's supposed to challenge what you know, right? And then when you're really good at it, you can take one leg and do a whole series. I'm not going to show you today because <laughs> I'm still working on that, but there's another level for each of us, right? So I hope this helps you make the centering on the pedipole less of a struggle. For more videos from me or Andrea, make sure you subscribe to both of our channels. And as always, you can request any exercises you need in the comments below, and we will see you next time.